How much have you had to drink? You said you had a drink tonight? I had a couple drinks tonight. Okay. Ever see someone stumbling around drunk but still thinking they're okay to drive? It's a risky mistake that often ends with a harsh reality check from the cops, from a woman whose broken taillight exposed her misdeed. No, get on your business and get the f out of here. <laughs> I got to another whose impaired driving nearly caused a tragedy. Not impaired. Okay, well, this is what's gonna happen. We're what gonna indications do you have that I'm impaired? Here are some times when drunk drivers get what they deserve. All right, bring your feet together, hands to your sides. All right, now hold that position. I'm gonna explain, then I'm gonna demonstrate, so hold all your questions till the end. The incident revolved around a woman named Natalie. On December 5th, 2023, in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, Officers noticed something suspicious in a car. They promptly initiated a traffic stop. When suspects confess to the officers, it doesn't necessarily mean they're innocent. They do it in hopes of getting leniency from the officers. My name is Natalie. I'm Officer Flying Palm Beach Gardens Police Department. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? You're yeah, all right. I'm doing all right. So where are you coming from tonight? So I worked previously this evening, and then I went out with a drink for a friend. Okay. You still live on way over here? Yes, sir. Right behind the Is that where you headed to? Yes, sir. All right. Have you had anything? Uh, how much have you had to drink? You said you had a drink tonight? I had a couple drinks tonight. Okay. Have and you my had any... I'm sorry. My boyfriend broke up with me, so yes, I had a couple drinks. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you had any narcotics or cannabis or anything? Absolutely not. Prescription medication? Absolutely not. All right, listen, we're concerned that you might be driving under the influence, all right? So we're going to do some roadside exercise with you, make sure it's not the case, and we'll have you on your way home, okay? So come on out with me. Come on back over here. Do you have any medical condition with your eyes besides wearing glasses? No. Are you able to walk a straight line? Yes, sir. And can you balance on one foot? Yes, sir. All right, come on over here for me. The officers noticed something suspicious about Natalia. To clarify further, they decided to administer some tests to her. They were about to use one such test in the situation to get a clearer picture. Could you go ahead and stand right there for me and face me? All right. Uh, put your glasses up on the top of your head for me. All right, you see this red light? You're gonna follow the red light with your eyes only and keep your head still, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Sorry. You can blink like normal. Okay. You need to, yeah. Just hang out with this officer right here. Hold on. Yeah. Alright, if you would go to this side of the line and place your left foot on it for me. Now place your right foot in front, heel touch and toe just like I'm doing. Bring your arms down to your sides. All right, now hold that position. Don't start until I tell you. When I tell you to begin, I want you to take nine heel to toe steps just like this. One, two, three. Once you get to your ninth step, you leave that front foot where it's at, take a series of small steps to turn around, and take nine heel to toe steps back. All right, it's important that once you start, you don't stop. Keep your arms at your sides and count your steps out loud. Do you have any questions? All right, go ahead and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All 
right, for this next exercise, it's going to be the one leg stand. So you can ignore the line, you just go ahead and stand right where my mm -hmm. flashlight's at there. All right, bring your feet together, hands to your sides. All right, now hold that position. I'm going to explain, then I'm going to demonstrate, so hold all your questions till the end. Mm -hmm. When I tell you to begin, you're going to raise one foot, either foot, approximately six inches off the ground. It's about the height of a soda can. While you're doing that, you're going to keep both knees straight, and you're going to point the toes of your raised foot out at me. You're going to look down at your raised foot, and you're going to count out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until you tell you stop. The whole time your hands will be at your sides. If you place your foot down during 30 seconds, just pick it back up and continue where you left off. It's going to go just like this. Watch me. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, and so on until I tell you to stop. Notice both of my knees are straight, my toes are pointed out, my hands are at my sides and I'm looking down at my foot. That's all you got to do for 30 seconds. Do you have any questions? No, sir. All right, let me set a timer. All right, go ahead and begin. 1,001. A little higher. 1,001, Alright, you can place your foot down. Alright, for this next exercise, you know your alphabet A through Z. Okay, so not backwards, nothing crazy. All right, so again, you're going to stand with your feet together, hands to your sides. When I tell you to begin, you're going to tilt your head back, you're going to close your eyes, and you're going to recite the alphabet for me, A through Z, slowly and non-rhythmically. That means don't sing it and don't skip any letters. So it'll be just like this, except you're going to close your eyes. A, B, C, D, E, and so on all the way through Z. Do you have any questions about that? All right, go ahead and look up, close your eyes, and begin. A, B, C, D, B, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All right, for this final exercise, can you count to 30? All right, so again, stay standing just like you are, feet together, hands to your sides. When I tell you to begin, you're gonna tilt your head back and close your eyes, and you're gonna imagine 30 seconds going by silently in your mind. However you wanna count, it's totally up to you. And once you believe 30 seconds are up, you just open your eyes and say stop. Okay. Do you have any questions about that? No. All right, let me set a timer here. All right, go ahead and look up, close your eyes and begin. Stop. All right. At this time, you are being placed under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol, chemical, or controlled substance. Natalie was charged with DUI while Natalie was cooperative and made efforts to be as truthful as she could be. The same, unfortunately, cannot be said about our next suspects. Not impaired! Okay, well, this is what's going to happen. We're what gonna indications do you have that I'm impaired? The incident is centered around the famous morning news anchor, Farron Sally. On December 15th, 2018, in Florida, officers noticed a vehicle without a taillight and with daytime driving lights. The officer immediately initiated a vehicle stop. When someone becomes famous, they must remember that what they do can harm their reputation, so they should avoid being careless. Famous people should act responsibly because others look up to them, and their actions can influence others negatively. It's crucial for the police to deal with these situations appropriately. Hello, miss. Hi. Officer Carver, Prime Beach Gardens Police Department. The reason why I'm pulling you over is because you're actually driving with no taillights. Uh, I believe you're only driving with your daytime driving lights on. And yep, they're completely off. There you go. 
Can I see your license registration proof of insurance, please? I'm sorry, Tim. Like being pulled over right now. Okay. My phone is not. Well, you're not the one right. driving without lights on, so. Yeah, well, you're the one pulling me over right now. Yeah, it's my job. Yeah, well, okay, so you see my phone right now, so. Okay. What? I'm cooperating. How much have you had to drink tonight, ma'am? God, I've had one drink tonight. Okay. Well, it's pretty strong what? smell coming off your off your breath. Okay. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care what you have to say either. Like I, phone isn't coming up. Who's your insurance through? Progressive. Progressive, thank you. And I'm sorry, ma'am. Who are you? I'm you, sorry. You are. Colleen. How are you? The window's too dark, so I can't see him. Oh, so. Okay. Alright. Just want to play that game. It's unnecessary. To... Yeah. <clears throat> you didn't ask me. It's not the case. She roll her window up. Sorry? She roll her window up. Howdy. Howdy. I believe you are impaired. Okay. I'd like to write some right side sobriety test. A little bit noisy. That's alright. Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Field sobriety tests might seem challenging for a sober person, but they're even tougher for drunk drivers. They demand good coordination between hands, eyes, and legs. Let's find out what the officer thought of Sally's performance. What is it that we're gonna do? Okay. Yes. I'm just waiting on it. Okay, I, I don't understand what your rush is. Because it's not safe for me to be standing on the side of the road. People have died from this. Okay. Oh, really? These both yes, of these lanes are shut down, okay? I know, so I've just seen it I, from an FHP trooper. Okay. I've, I've seen it. Well, I, yeah, I understand. No, it it's, it's dangerous for everybody. It, it is. is. It is. Okay. okay. Well, what can I do for you? All right. Yes. You understand with your feet together and arms on your side, okay? Okay. Can you, I'm, while I'm watching her, can you just make sure she stays in her vehicle? I don't need her walking around and doing stuff. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Heels touching, toes touching, no space in between. Okay. Okay. Heels touching, toes touching, no space in between. That's what you're watching. Okay. That's that now is what I'm seeing. Okay. That's exactly what I need to see. All right. Do you have any medical conditions? Yes, I do. Okay. What are they? I suffer from. Uh, I, I I don't need to discuss this with you. It's okay. Okay. Any okay. Any medical conditions that that affect the ability to drive or operate a motor vehicle or heavy machinery? No. No. Okay. Any conditions with your eyes? Do you have any eye conditions? No. Do you wear contacts or glasses or anything? No. No. Okay. Do you have any issues with walking, keeping balance? No. 
That's that's a no, correct? No. Okay. That is All an right. absolute no. All right. How much you get a drink tonight? I have had one drink. One drink. What yes, kind sir. of drink? Yes. Uh, it was a vodka drink. A vodka drink. Yes, sir. Okay. Anything else? No, sir. When's the last time you ate? Uh, last time I ate was right before a movie. It was dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie. Okay. Yes. What time was that? Uh, the movie started at seven ten. Okay. So that was all prior to to seven ten. Yes. Okay. Do you know what time it is now? Um, no, I don't. I guess around maybe nine thirty to nine forty five ish. Okay. All what right. time is it, sir? It's nine fifty four. Okay. Okay. Why are you talking to me in a condescending tone? I'm not talking to you in a condescending tone. I'm speaking is that very how you, affirmatively. Is that how you normally talk to people? I speak very affirmatively. Okay. All right. What I want you to do, I want you to look straight ahead. Okay? I want you to focus at the tip of my finger. What color is the tip of my finger? Red. Okay. I don't want you to move your eyes. I'm sorry. I don't want you to move your head. I want you to focus with your eyes and your eyes only as I move the stimulus back and forth. You understand? Yes. Okay. I I'm have gonna, common knowledge. I'm going to have a... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to illuminate your eyes with my white light. Okay, just check your reaction to light. Okay, don't focus on the white light. Focus, continue to focus on my red finger. You understand? Yeah. Okay, thank you. straight. Let's move your head, okay? You stand with your feet together. I mean, I need you to stand with your feet together. Okay, keep your arms on at your side. Keep your arms on at your side, please. This is... I know you've gotten what you need by now. Keep your keep your head level, okay? Don't raise your head, okay? And relax. And separate your feet if you want. What did you mean by I have enough or I have what I need right now? What does that mean? It means that I know that I'm capable of driving. Okay. I know that I'm a responsible citizen and I know that however many cops it is that you have right now are unnecessary for the task that you are privileged with at this moment. Okay. All right. 
Come stand over here. Line. I, I do, but I need you to pay attention to my instructions, okay? okay. Follow them very clearly. All righty. Okay? I want you to stand on the line with your left foot. Put your left foot on the line. Okay. Okay. Put your right foot directly in front of your left foot. Heel touching toe. Okay. Okay. Keep your arms down at your side the entire time while I'm giving you these instructions, okay? I'm going to demonstrate and I'm going to tell you what I want you to do. I don't want you doing anything until I tell you to begin. You understand? Okay. Okay. So, left foot's on the line. Right foot's in front of your left foot. What I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you take nine heel toe steps down this line. When you reach your ninth step, you're gonna make a series of small steps to turn around. You're gonna walk nine heel toe steps back up the line, okay? You're gonna be looking down at your feet the entire time. You're gonna count out loud each step, aloud, loud enough so I can hear you, okay? All while keeping your arms down at your side, okay? It's dark and I have not had my medicine. Okay. What what medicine do you need? I report to Dr. said I have okay. a medical condition. Okay. Does that affect your ability to drive and operate a motor vehicle? Does it affect your ability to walk or, or keep balance, maintain balance? I don't know the extent of my balance. Okay, why don't you put your arms back down at your side like I instructed you, okay? Okay, so this is what it's going to look like, okay? When you bring your left foot around and, and put it down, it's going to be step number one, two, three, four, five. Now simulating this is my ninth step here. Please pay attention. Similarly, this is my ninth step here. You're going to turn in the following manner, keeping your ninth step down, planted on the ground, and you're going to walk nine heel toe steps back, okay? When you bring that foot back around, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and so forth until you reach step number nine. You understand? Yes, I do. Okay. So it's going to be nine steps down, turning around like I instructed you, nine steps back. You're going to keep your arms down at your side. And you're going to keep looking at your feet the entire time. Okay? You need to count out loud each step as you're giving it. Once you start, do not stop. Continue to go all the way through. Okay? Do not restart counting if you step off the line. Keep counting where you left off. You understand? Okay. You, you ready to begin? Ready to begin. Go ahead and begin. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. May I turn around now? I like I instructed you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alrighty. Come over here. Can you step out here some? Uh, do I need to walk the line as I step No, just, ste just step just... out here. We're done with the line. Alright, just check okay. it. Hey. I appreciate you checking, okay? Absolutely, Mr. Carver. Alright, go ahead and put your feet back together. Okay? Feet together, to heels touching, toes touching, no space between them. Okay? Keep your arms down at your side. Put your arms down at your side. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to have you stand on one, one leg. Okay? Do you want to do this barefoot or do you want to stay in your flip-flops like you've been doing everything else? The choice is completely up to you. I want to know okay. what I can do to end this public humiliation at this point. It's not public humiliation. I'm, uh, I'm over here conducting you know a DUI investigation. Well, here's what I'm going to ask of you. Mm -hmm. Can we go to a side street? I am a public figure. Okay. I find this very publicly humiliating. 
Now we'll continue whatever it is that you need us to do. I'm sorry. But I I'm cannot, asking I that... cannot take you to another location. Okay. okay. Well, it was sorry. worth a try because we're on PGA you, Boulevard want... and I am a public we're, figure. We're, we're not on PGA Boulevard. Okay. We're close enough to it, darling. Okay. Well, that's not where we're at. Do you want to turn around and do this facing the, the woods? Would you prefer to do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We can do that. All right. Keep saying over here, just on the other side. Okay. Can you can you please get in your vehicle? Watch out! They may shoot you, even though you're not black. Okay, that was a very racist comment. Yeah, it was. Go ahead and stand with your feet together again, like I instructed you. Okay. Put your arms down at your side. Okay. Heels touching, toes touching. No space between your feet. Okay. You're gonna raise one foot off the ground, approximately six inches. Okay, that's about the height of a soda can. Okay. You're gonna have your foot extended out towards me. And you're going to look down at your feet and you're going to count in the following manner. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, all the way until I tell you to stop. Okay? You're going to be looking down at your feet. You're going to keep your arms down at your side. And you're going to have your foot out. This is what it's going to look like, okay? Boy, it's a good thing you're not like a 70-year-old woman you, because even if they were sober, they don't have this kind of balance. Baby, I can do it. I haven't told you to start yet. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011. Should I continue? No, you, you should stop. 1,013. You should stop because I haven't told you to, to begin yet. And I, I, I haven't even finished. I haven't even finished giving you the instructions. Okay, give me the instructions. Okay, go ahead and stand. I'm sober though. Okay. Go ahead and stand with your feet together. Uh, stand with your feet together. To you. Go ahead and stand with your feet together. Yeah. No space between them, like like we've been doing this entire evening. Feet together. Heels to heels touching, toes touching. No space between. I can't move on until you get into that position. I'm sorry, I'm you're not you're position. not in position. There's a oh pretty good gap gosh. there. Okay. I wish I had put keep, my heels on. Keep it. your keep your arms down at your side. Okay. I'm gonna demonstrate for you what I want you to do. Okay. Keep your arms down at your side, not in front of you. Okay. Thank you. So you're going to be standing like this, six inches off the ground, toes pointed out towards me, and you're going to be looking at your toes, and you're going to be counting out loud in the following manner. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and so on until I tell you to stop, okay? The difference is that you're going to be looking down at your toes, not up like I am. You understand? Yeah. If you have to put your foot down for whatever reason. Now, is there a particular foot? Because I'm just ready to chop chop with the Mr. Carver. Okay. There, there isn't. You get to choose. If okay. You, for whatever reason, are you, you ready? have to. I'm not ready yet. I haven't finished giving Man, my instructions you are yet. Really not. Okay. I need you to put your arms back down at your side. Okay. Now, if you have to put your foot down for whatever reason, pick it back up and keep counting where you left off. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? How long is it going to take you to start counting? I'm not counting. You are counting. Okay. Do you have any other ready questions? When I started. I correct. It's it's you're ready when I tell you to begin. You begin when I tell you to begin. Okay. Uh, my question is, are you ready to begin now? As you're ready. Mr. Okay. Carver. Go ahead and begin. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four. 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015, 1,016, 1,017, 1,018, oh, 1,019, 1,020, 1,021, 1,022, 1,033, 1,024. Thank you. <sighs> 1,024. Alrighty. Alrighty. You know your your alphabet from A to Z, correct? Yes, I know my alphabet okay. from A to Highest Z. Highest level education. I have a master's degree. What okay. do you have? Okay. Go ahead and stand with your feet together. What did you have? Bachelor's science. Thank you very much. There we go. Feet together. Hey, high arms five. We're on the same page. It's okay. Feet together. Arms Maybe down at your side. Maybe when we lose our hair, we lose the ability to high five. That's right. Feet together. Arms down at your side. Okay. When I tell you to, you're going to look up as if you're looking up at the stars. You're going to close your eyes. You're going to recite the alphabet in the following manner. A, B, C, D, E, all the way to the letter Z. You're going to have a good solid second between each and every letter. Okay. 
do you have any questions? How many tests do you have before you realize that I am sober? Any other questions? No, that that is my question. How many tests are there? We have two more. You realize two more Man. tests. All right. Go ahead Come and stand on. with your feet together again. You keep separating it's your feet. It's just not comfortable. I'm bow leg. Okay. Feet together, please. Sure, Mr. Carver. All right. You ready? Go ahead and look up at the look up. Go ahead and close your eyes. Ready to begin? Begin. A. B. C. D. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. I, I'm sorry. I There's a lot going on around me. All of the training that I have in my profession is really throwing me off. I'm a news reporter. Okay. And I'm sorry. It's really throwing me off when I hear things that are going on around me. Okay. It just so do throws you, me do off. Do you want to restart? Me in that. You want to restart? <sighs> is that a yes or no? Are you refusing? What happens should I refuse? I'm curious. Well, refusal to complete my roadside sobriety task can and will be used against you in a court of law. Okay, I have to take everything up to this point in time to determine whether or not you're under the influence of alcohol. Okay, so that's that is the the end result. That's the Taylor warning. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Man, a. But please put your arms down at your side. Okay, your feet together, please. Heels touching, toes touching, no space between them. Okay, please look up and close your eyes. A, B, C, D, Keep your eyes closed, okay? E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All right. You know the difference between your left and your right? Yes. Okay, which is your left hand? Which is your right hand? Okay, what I want you to do, I want you to make two pointer fingers for me. Okay, point down at the ground and turn your wrist out towards me. Okay, when I say left or right, you're going to extend that finger out in front of you. Okay, you're going to touch the tip of your finger. Okay, please pay attention. Tip of your finger to the tip of your nose. Okay, you're going to come right back out and you're going to point right back down to the ground. Okay, so if I say left, I'm gonna come out, touch, out, right back down. When I say right, same thing. Out, touch, out, right back down to the ground. Okay, the difference is that your head is gonna be slightly elevated, you're gonna look up a little bit, and you're gonna keep your eyes closed. Okay, you understand? Yes. Okay, all right, do you have any questions? No. Okay. Is this my last test? Yes, go ahead and look up. Look up, close your eyes. Tilt your head up a little bit more. Close your eyes. And look up, please. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. Bend your back. Okay. What have I done? Placing into the rest for driving with the infants of alcohol. Okay. What have I done? I've passed every listen, test. Listen, listen, listen. I need you to I need you to relax a second, okay? I'm gonna be forthright and honest with you this entire time, okay? You have given me indication through your road and sobriety test, the standardized field sobriety test, that you are impaired, okay? I'm a cocky son of a gun, but I've passed all these tests. The suspects try to use trickery to garner sympathy from the officers in order to avoid facing consequences. 
please come back around to the front of me. I'm coming please. around you. Okay. Look. Hey, buddy. Listen. I'm sorry. Listen. I, I know I'm a cocky son of a gun. Okay. And I'm sorry for it. This is, and, this is the thing. This and is the thing. Please, I, but I, you got to hear me out, though. Listen. Because I've done everything. Okay. And I've passed the test. It's not It's not a pass or fail, okay? These tests aren't pass or fail. They're, so why am I being put in handcuffs right now when I work right down the road at a TV station here? Listen. I'm a good community citizen. I do my volunteer work. You want to come sit, sit a, over here by the wall? I'm a good person. Look, okay. man. Okay, listen. Listen. Look, hey. It has... It has what you do, where you work, and stuff like that has no bearing in this, okay? The fact of the matter is, is that you were, you were driving on the streets, okay? Without you, my light on, and I'm to me. sorry! Listen to me. You have given me indications that you are impaired, okay? I'm not impaired! Okay, well, this is what's gonna happen. Gonna what go indications we're, do you have that I'm impaired? Go we're gonna go down to the public. What indications do you have that I'm impaired? through your roadside sobriety task and please tell me what indication yeah my demeanor is cocky i'm from okay. texas i okay. used to drive a truck until i moved out here i had a four by four my granddad was a cowboy so i'm sorry so, i just got a little bit of pride on my shoulders okay well this is where we're at okay i have please probable cause me. i have probable cause to believe you are under the influence of alcohol okay i'm gonna be taking you down to the Palm Beach county jail with the breath alcohol testing oh my test. god okay that's what's gonna happen next, okay? Now that you're right. Please, okay, can we just, can you just give me two seconds? Please, Mr. Yes. Carver. What is it? Please. I'm sorry. Okay. I should not have been cocky to everyone that's out here. Believe me. Fair and Sally was charged with DUI. While Fair and Sally put the lives of others in danger because of her careless activities, our next individual took it one step further when she put children's lives on the line. Get you a blood test, that way we can see exactly what's in your system, because we don't know, and our machine said that it's something else besides alcohol. The incident revolves around a 28-year-old woman named Yesmain. On October 21st, 2023, in Las Cruces, New Mexico, um, officers responded to a motor vehicle accident where a Honda crashed into a bus stop. Um, the officers promptly rushed to the location to investigate the situation. The officers collect details about the incident from the victim for further investigation because they can explain everything clearly. The suspects drive carelessly, even with children in the car, which could lead to a serious accident. If any suspects do not confess after the incident, the officers have to take proper legal action. She almost hit us. Yeah, she, okay. did. she almost hit three other people. She's doing circles all the way up here. She almost hit me here. I hit my brakes. She slammed in here. Before she slammed, I saw her just hunched. When she hit, I only saw was a face in this window. I pulled over. I got you. And then all the little, all the little one, his chest harness, he wasn't even arms in it. He just buckled up the legs. Thank you, guys. So I did. I just pulled in here, killed the engine after I put it in the park, threw the hazards on, grabbed the kids out, and they just saw me before I could get her off my side. Two kids, mom. Everyone else is alive. She does have an ankle bracelet on, so she's probably already in the middle. No. Uh, you guys know our camera at all? Yeah, I think she's a rake in the back, actually. Yeah, she's awake right now. Get 
sounds okay. Anybody in order? Fuck. 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 Sit down. Okay, and they're fine. So you're gonna, you're not gonna go toss all your. Check it out. You're gonna cooperate, or you're gonna get detained. You're the one smoking blues with your kids in the car. You're gonna get no sympathy from me. So you're gonna sit down and cooperate with this. Are you with me this. anyway? Yes. Okay, then it doesn't matter. Cool. Get turn around. No, I. Hey. I don't think... you want your kids to see you get thrown to the ground? No, you're not gonna. I'm not resisting, I'm just close to my I'm not resisting, 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 I'm Let you call your mom when you start cooperating. Get up. Call my mom first and she'll make sure that I'm Check it out, Yasmin. I'm gonna be super blunt and very honest with you. You are blunt and honest in the beginning. Cool. You don't start cooperating. I have this. I'm one of the officers that carries this thing called a wrap restraint. You refuse to go in it. You're gonna get placed in it. And it sucks really, really bad. You to call my mother. And I told you. You told me. I will. Once you start cooperating, you. Will... And then you said that you would just detain me. I just need you to call my mother. Get up, and we will work on that. Kids are okay. Okay, get up and we will work on that information. How can I trust you? What? How can I trust you? Because I don't want you sitting here laying with your face in a grate. And I really don't think you want your kids to see you like this either. No. Cool. So let's work towards a common solution and you start getting up. Perfect. Put one of your knees in. There you go. There. Yeah. Coming over here. The officers explained all the procedures to Yasmin. Now, it's up to her whether she chooses to follow the procedures or not. Otherwise, she would face the consequences of her actions. Uh, she was involved in a motor vehicle accident on Avenida de Mesilla. 
okay. uh, in front of the confidence suites. Um, basically, witnesses said that she was unconscious at the wheel and that the car was rolling at 10 miles per hour uh -huh. and that it did two circles on Avenida Messina and Lakeside mm -hmm. and the car went into oncoming traffic where it did another circle, hit a curb, and then rerouted back and hit a bus stop. Uh, yeah, right. bus stop. where they sit? Yeah, where oh, they okay, sit. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was it. And okay. Um, we attempted to do a breathalyzer test, however, it came back, um, what was it, that there is some sort of interference. When I asked my sergeant, he says that's usually some sort of medical condition going on. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to get her medically cleared and checked out. Okay. And I'm also going to read her the consent so you can get drop it. So. Okay. Um, Ms. I just have to read you something. So, listen to me, I'm about to tell you something important, including a right you have. You're under arrest for uh, driving while under the influence. I'm requesting that you consent to have your blood drawn and tested to determine the alcohol and or drug content of your blood. You have the right, Ms. Pacheco, to refuse to, to my consent and to my request. If you refuse to consent, you cannot, you cannot face criminal penalties for your refusal. Do you understand that right, Ms. Okay. Um... However, refusing consent has other consequences in accordance with the New Mexico Implied Consent Act and state law. Those consequences may include losing a New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. Additionally, the fact that you refuse consent may be used as evidence against you in a court of law. Do you understand these consequences, Ms. Pacheco? Additionally, if you consent to have your blood drawn and tested, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, um, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a laboratory technician of your, cho your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency, which is us. Knowing your right to refuse consent, the possible consequences, and your right to an independent test, but do you give consent to have your blood drawn and tested? So since the breathalyzer, uh, it came back invalid, ma'am, and it came back with an interference, we're just requesting that we get your blood drawn, just so we can know what's actually going on. Oh, when you fix your machine, I can do that. So you're refusing the blood test? I will accept it, the other one. Correct. But this is just for further additional testing, so we can see what's going on. Just because the breathalyzer came back inconclusive. That's not my fault. I don't know. So you're refusing? I don't know what to do. I need an attorney. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, so I'll repeat my question. Knowing your right to refuse to consent and to have your blood drawn and tested, the possible consequences and your right to an independent test. Do you give consent to have your blood drawn and tested? If you continue to remain silent, I'll consider you have refused my request. I don't understand. No. So basically, Ms. when we had the breathalyzer, it came back uh, that there was some sort of inconsistency with it, that we needed to get you medically checked out, that there was something other than alcohol in your blood. That's why we came here to Three Crosses. One, to get you medically cleared, and two, to see if you would be willing to get a blood test so we could see what's going on inside your system. Because it's not alcohol that you consumed. So we're trying to figure out what exactly it was. That's why we're requesting a blood test. I talked to the officer and I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, I want to talk to someone that understands, but I don't understand this. May, maybe you can break it down for me? So, you have you did the breathalyzer test, right? Mm -hmm. Blue in the thing. The results said that it was inconclusive, which means that they couldn't get a reading of yes, no, or whatever it says to give them an answer. The answer was not there. There's a medical issue as to why it's not coming up with an answer. So they want to know if they can do the blood work to do that. But it's an alcohol machine. Correct. So, so that's why we need a blood test to further see exactly what's in your system. No, you said because it was saying, no, I don't feel comfortable with this. I'm just, I just, because you said it was detecting something else. Correct. But it's an alcohol system. Correct. So there's something else 
besides alcohol in your system. But you won't be able to detect that. That's so why that's I can't why give them a, a, a for reading. sure answer because of it's not alcohol, alcohol level. Because there's something in difference that's not, it's not you letting it. Narcan. Correct. The so that might be why that might be why the machine came out. But that's why we need to go ahead and that's, that's why, why they want to check your blood to see what is in the system that I was causing I, it. You're, yeah, the Norcan probably. Correct, but that's why we want a blood test to go ahead and see. I want that way we can have to. Finish and he just wants to know if you want to have the blood test to say that or not. Is that clear or not? I, yes, so she was clear. unconscious Correct. at Correct. scene. So was given Narcan. So, Mr. Okay. this will be my last request. Do you consent to a blood trial? So, what am I? I'm here so you can get the drugs in my system. So, we can know exactly what's in your system. And one, may get you, get you medically clear because you were in a motor vehicle accident. And two, get you a blood test. That way we can see exactly what's in your system because we don't know. And our machine said that it's something else besides alcohol. So, that's why we just want to check. This will be my last request, Ms. Yeah. Do you agree for a blood test? I guess. I don't know. Yes. So, I need a yes, ma'am. Yasmin was charged with driving while under the influence of drugs and resisting arrest. While Yasmin caused an accident that endangered the lives of children, showing no concern for their safety, our next individual was engaging in behavior so reckless that it shocked even the police. Go over there. No! Okay, fool. so I'm gonna walk to my patrol unit go right there. Go in the ahead, I don't care! Get all your stuff and get out. Get out no. of the car before I physically do it. The incident revolved around an 18-year-old girl named Deja. On October 4th, 2023, in Las Cruces, New Mexico, an officer responded to a hotel where a female refused to leave her casework. The officers initiated a traffic stop and decided to investigate. The officers took help from others to gather information about the suspects, including what's happening now and what happened before. But when the police ask the suspects questions, they don't want to help at all. The police try to stay calm, but sometimes the suspects act in surprising ways, making things harder for the police. However, the officers always take the right steps to deal with the situation according to the law. She pretty much is, is I picked her up and I took her to like run errands all over town. Uh -huh. um, she told me that she was going to stay with a friend here. So I brought her, um, so I brought her here. She was trying to get a hold of the friend. The friend wouldn't answer. Finally, he did. He said that he was like two hours away. So I said, okay, cool. Like you can either stay here with your stuff or I'll take you to McDonald's and take it with him, for him there. She didn't want to do either or, so then she got a hold of that guy again, and he said that he uh, apparently wasn't staying here anymore, and he decided to go somewhere else. I said, well, you need to start calling like friends, family, whoever, you know, to try to figure out like, where you're going to stay, because we don't do placement after they're 18. Yeah. And so um, she's like, I don't have anybody, and I'm like, dude, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Like, well, we're kind of SOL. And so she's like, just drive. And I'm like, well, where do you want me to take you? And I said, I have to take you somewhere. And she's like, well, just take me to the office. And I'm like, I can't take you to the office because you're over 18. Yeah. So I'm kind of like stuck because she doesn't have any money. Somebody apparently stole her money that I gave her on Friday because they get checks every month. She cashed it on Friday. Um, she said she stayed at one hotel Friday and then she stayed with a friend. She ended up getting arrested, I believe, on Sunday for a warrant that she had out and battery on an officer as well. What's her name? Deja Ah, yeah, I know her shoes. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard that. She, um, she told me she was trespassed, but that you guys never gave her anything, so. But I took her there to get her stuff. She got her stuff from there. She, that's who she's blaming that took her all her money. So I called my boss. I told her the situation. That's her calling right now. And she said, well, you need to call mm -hmm. off this because. Yeah. Uh, let me talk um, to her. Get her out. I mean. Yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, you already did the favor of taking her around, <laughs> which you don't have to. And it's just yeah. ridiculous. How come she hasn't got a job? That's another story. So, yeah. It's another She's story allergic to another day, yeah. She's allergic to Yeah, them. she says she had a job at Dreams in El Paso, and I guess that never panned out. I, I don't know what to do with her. And my boss you. is like, I can't stay with her all night, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And she doesn't like that person. So. Uh, of course not. Nobody does. What happened? Yeah, Deja. What's up? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing I at all. Talk to you later. All right. You don't need to talk to me, but you do need to get out of the car. All right. She needs mm -hmm. to take off. Okay. All right. Later. Get away from me all now. Right. Get out of the car. Can you get? Yeah, I'll move out the way. Well, you're gonna get out the car. 
She has to go do stuff. I understand. Okay, cool. Goodbye. Go ahead and unbuckle get and get out. I don't need a... Goodbye. Just unbuckle and get out, ma'am. No. You can't stay in here. I already asked to go back to the CYD office. That is all I need to say to you. How old are Goodbye. you? How old are you? Oh, Deja, you're the one that got arrested at... You. We don't need to go that way. Yeah, we you don't, don't need know to me, go that way. And I don't know you. Yeah, you don't know me. Okay. So don't try but to I know you're 18. You know I know you're 18. I'm not 18. You got that wrong. All right, how old are you? It doesn't matter. How old are you? How old are you? It doesn't matter. All right, what's your name and date of birth? Why? I have a lawful reason right now to identify who you are because you're not getting out of a state vehicle and they requested I am a me CY here. Okay. Then if you get the out of here and get the away, I'll step out of the car. I step back for you. I just bought your last name. I don't know. You really want to go to jail? No, I'm trying to step out of the car. Okay, I'll unbuckle and I'll step out get of the way. Him. I'll step out of the way, but you need to start unbuckling now. No, you need to back the. I'm telling you right now, Deja, you're not in charge right now. No, I need you to back right. up and respect my space. Okay, and I'm not back in your the... space. Alicia, I'm telling you right now. Get this the All right. away from So me. go ahead and start unbuckling the now. There's no need for threats. There's no need for you to be here or for you to try oh. to talk to me, okay? I was, I was Goodbye. Called out here. I was called out here. Nah. All right, so get him. go ahead and step, look, stepping back, start getting your stuff and get out. So I'm telling you right now, you're getting out of that vehicle one way or another. I'll get out of the vehicle when I'm ready to get out of the vehicle. No, you're well, going to get out gone. now. Alicia, get him the f away from She's me. the one that contacted me, so she needs my help. So, Deja, go ahead and unbuckle and get out. Unbuckled. Appreciate now leave. The f it. out of my face. Get out. No, I need you to get the f away from me. I did. I stepped back enough. No, you did not. Yes, I did. There's no need I'm for you to raise your voice. I'm done talking to you. You don't need to talk. You just Back need to get up. out of the car. Don't talk to me ever again. You just again. need to get out of the car. I'll get out of the car when I talk to my caseworker and you're gone. That's not going to happen because she called for my assistance. Then I'll call for another officer's assistance because I'm done with this okay, conversation. Okay, go ahead and call. You, get you can call them you want. You want me to call you up? I'll get you one right here right now. Can you get him away? Look, I'm out of the car. Now sure. get on your business and get the out of here you could go over there no you could go over there no get out of the vehicle no deja i'm gonna tell you right now you're gonna get out of the vehicle for what because y'all trying to arrest me for what i'm this not time? arresting you i'm just telling you, you she doesn't want you in her vehicle so you need to get out of the vehicle and i don't want you near me it's all the f i don't want you near me no leave that's not gonna happen because you're not the one that called me look i'm out of the vehicle i appreciate it get your stuff in no it you're not staying in the vehicle deja yeah leave deja Get your stuff and get out of the No, vehicle. I've actually talked to nice. my caseworker, that's all it takes. I'll get my stuff out of the car when I'm able to talk to her and have a conversation with her when you're not involved. Cool, it's okay. Just go ahead and get your no, stuff out there. No, this is why y'all think y'all have rights. No, you think you have rights. No, I know, you know I have rights. But you don't know them. But you don't know them. You don't know them. You think because you're in a oh, uniform, man, you're entitled. Right I don't think I'm entitled to anything, ma'am. Then can you let, can you step out of my and let me talk to my caseworker. You get out of the vehicle and go over there and you could talk to her right now because your caseworker doesn't want you in this car. So I'm asking you nicely, please. No, you're go not ahead and asking get out. me nicely. I'm asking you, ma'am, please step out of the vehicle and come over here. Do you have any other stuff in the car? Just this right A here? A lot of in the car. It's all mine. No, what? Yours? Well, is this yours? What else is? None of your business. Deja, you need to get out of the car. I need you to leave me alone. I'm going to tell you right now. You need to get out of the car. I need you to leave me alone. Deja, get out of the car, please. No, I need you to leave me alone. That's not going to happen because I'm not called out here by you. I was called out here by your caseworker. Okay. They wanted assistance. Okay. Okay? So go okay. ahead and get out, please. I appreciate that. Out, fool! Go over there. No! I need you to stop talking to me and it's leave me alone. Happen. It's not gonna then happen. You're Deja. not gonna get your way either because look, I'm out of the car. Get all the and way look, out of the vehicle. I'm back in the car. Get out of the vehicle. I need you to literally leave me the literal f alone for five take seconds. Off? Do I have to take yeah. Like, I kind of did, but I'm not okay. 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 I mean, I don't know. We're just trying to figure out options, but we don't have I've been trying to okay. figure out options. Well, they try to help you. I and ain't then talking you to you. Okay. Well, I'm telling you that she's talking to her boss and they ain't got on. I know who she's on the phone with! Okay, well, get out of the car. Stop yelling, please. No! You know, there's a charge for that as well, right? Yeah, okay, and... Yelling and shouting. Okay, and... So you're just adding charges to your... I'm not doing sh I need you, you to are. leave me the f alone. You're not getting out. 
You're not leaving me alone. At this point, I'm not. I don't leave feel you comfortable alone. getting out That's of the car fine. with you That's around. Fine. Get out. No. Get the. I'm telling you right now, this is your last chance. I'm Get out. out. All the way Get out. Get off. Get out all the way out of the vehicle. All the way. Go over there. No. Step over there. No. Get. Step over there, away from the vehicle. Deja, I'm only giving you one more chance. I've been out of the vehicle now three, four, five, there. six, seven, eight, nine times. Now get over here, put Deja. Put your hands on me for no reason. I have every reason to put my no, hands on you, so you, you really need to get away. Don't. You're causing a scene for no reason. You're causing a scene. Get away from the car. Get out. She has to leave. She has other things okay, she has to do. I can talk to my caseworker. Yeah, talk to her over there because she doesn't want you in her and car. Not, and I don't want you near me. And I don't feel okay. comfortable. Okay. As soon as you get out of the car, with you around. I'll leave. As soon no, as you get out of the car, you won't. Yeah, yeah. Because this is all the reason I'm here for is for you sitting in that car. That's the only reason I am here, Deja. The only reason I'm still in this car is because you are here now. Okay. Well, get out. No. I'm gonna give you one more choice. All right. I'm Look, gonna go to my car. I'm, up. I'm telling you right what? now, Deja, get out of the way. I am out of okay. the way. Go over there. No. Okay, fool. so I'm gonna walk to my patrol unit. Go right the there f ahead. I don't care. Get all your stuff and get out. Get out no. of the car before I physically do it. You don't need to physically get yes, me out I of the will. car if I've been out of the car. Okay, so move so I can close the door no. and get out of it. Let me talk to my f***ing case. She don't want to talk to you. If she did, she would be talking to you. She wouldn't have called me, right? I'll call another f case right now. All right. Well, you could do that out of the car. <laughs> you can let my caseworker tell me what the. F Okay. Ma'am, do you want her out of the car? She's going to tell you right now. Do we want her out of the car? Unfortunately. Yes. Get out of the car. Your caseworker wants you out. So get out of the car, please. Okay, I'm out of the car and now. Back the away from Come me. Come over here. Back get all your stuff. Away. Get all your stuff and get out of the car. I can't carry all my It's going to stay in the car, regardless. Mm, actually, not. Because if she does I was already told that it could be stayed in the like You're good with her property? She has a say? bunch of stuff in the back. And that could stay? My boss says that that can stay. For now? She's okay with me taking it to the office. Are you okay with her taking it to the office? Are you done here? Are you okay with taking it to the office? Here? No, I'm not. Then yes I'm not, or no? I'm not answering your questions. What do you have that you could take on you right now? I'm not taking anything on me. I'm okay. waiting for you to leave okay, me the Okay, then, then get out of the car. I am out of the car. Uh, get completely like out of the way circle. so she can leave. No. Okay, I'm going to walk over here, get what stuff you I need. I don't care what yeah. you need to okay. walk over and do. You want walk to over and do so. Okay. I'm going to no. walk away for now. But when I come back. I don't care. When I, when I come get back, out. Don't stand to me. Get the away. Don't put your fucking hand in my face. Get the out of my face. I'm going to you right now. Don't touch me and don't put your hand in my face. I ain't touching you. I'm telling you right now, don't put your hand in my face. All right. What the f*** is that, G? What the f*** is that? Okay. So now. Bye! Get out of the car. Don't touch me! Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I told you it was. Don't get in the car.
all the way in. Do not, do not, do not. No. Put, put your foot in. Can you please put tell me what's in. actually going on? No, I'm not going to do that until you put your foot in. Huh? Put your foot in. I don't want to get out of the car. She's Ma'am. Ma'am. Told her Ma'am. to get out. She's 18. Put so I gave her a lot. You're to make games. No, not when you're acting like this. You're acting ridiculous. Put your foot in. I'm not acting ridiculous. Put your foot in. I'm not acting ridiculous. I got resisting now. I'm gonna give you one last opportunity. You actually tell me what's going on! Not until you fly with the game. No, no, no! At this juncture, the officers had reached their limit with their attitude, and tensions escalated significantly. Dejo was charged with concealing identity, resisting arrest, and battery on a peace officer. For more videos about criminals, hit the subscribe button.